unless you go back to the very beginning of Barney, once you understand Ikonkar, then Hukam Namme makes sense. If you don't, the whole of your life is going to go reading Gurbani in a very dualistic way. Yeah? God, me. Yeah? It's a very dualistic interpretation. And all Gurbani that we generally hear explained is explained in this dualistic way. You have to understand the non-duality of Ikkunkar, which is why Gurbani says, this is where it starts. This is what the rest of Gurbani is a katha of Ik. If you don't understand that, you will not understand Hukam Namas. You know, and Hukam Namas just keep going on being misinterpreted. I'm not saying that I'm giving the, the ultimate definition, but it's about a definition that always goes back to Ik. If you don't understand a Hukam Nama, you've got to go back to Ik and say, well, what is the Ik way of interpreting this Hukam Nama?